It's a huge conference and very important for Swedish companies. There is a great market potential for Swedish companies in, in China. So Sweden's participation in the CIE is very consistent. We have participated since the beginning uh, and now due to Covid, like last year, we will not have any overseas delegations coming in. But nevertheless, there will be uh, good participation uh, from Swedish companies who are here in China. There are slightly more companies uh, participating this year than last year. Around 20 Swedish companies will be at the CIE. Sweden-China trade is uh, very balanced. Swedish exports to China uh, actually went up quite a bit uh, last year. We're very, very happy about that. And also Swedish imports from China were also keeping pace, even though 2020 was a generally difficult year. China is still holding uh, the fifth and the sixth place for goods, imports and exports for, for Sweden. A services trade has gone down because of Covid. We are also seeing a lot of incoming Chinese foreign direct investment into Sweden and we are very very happy about that. There are also ongoing Swedish investments into China. This is the general uh, uh, situation uh, and, and scene uh, for us when we come to the CIE. We see great potential. We are also seeing that there is quite some focus at this year's CIE on sustainability. One a Swedish company is participating uh, actively in preparing this together with the CIE Bureau. Uh, this is of course very very important for, for Sweden and, and for our companies. We believe that we have uh, knowledge and a competitive edge when it comes to sustainability issues. Swedish companies have potential to contribute to both productivity and consumption also of innovative products and services in the Chinese market uh, in the time ahead, not least when it comes to environmental and climate issues. Jingbo, wait